Greetings. If you're new to this channel, you don't know, but sometimes I do a preamble before I really get into my topic. Today's preamble is that it's hot. It hit 84 degrees here today. And just so you can relate this to something else, last week at this time, we had a high of 45 degrees. So 84 is a little hot and it's really hot in the house. And I had my fan on and I noticed that the noise was just overwhelming. So every once in a while, y'all might see me do this. Depends on how long the video goes. So we're gonna do what we can. A few years ago, okay, I think it was about six years ago. It may have even been five. I did a video where I talked about the obsolescence that's built into smartphones. In essence, they're not built to last long. You know, I've got the home phones and mine is, you know, I've got this. I've got a, the main thing out in the garage, but I've got a bunch of these. You know how long this has lasted? 14 years, <laughs> 14 years. And it cost $80 at the time. Smartphone, smartphone, it costs something like six, $700 brand new. And I was still married then and we bought two of them. So think about that for a moment. It's just built into smartphones to die. Now they will tell you what well, we're always upgrading the technology and you know, we're making them better. No, I ain't buying none of that mess. <laughs> Cause they know um, their insurance is garbage. All insurance for phones is garbage. You're either gonna have a high copay or it's gonna cost you way more to have them fix it than maybe going to a kiosk or someone else, an independent person to fix it. And if your contract says, if they can't repair it, they're gonna send you another phone, you're not getting another phone. There's no guarantee you're gonna get the same brand that you have. And it's probably going to be refurbished, which basically says it ain't gonna last all that long. So I'm just you know throwing that mess out there now because I'm gonna talk about my smartphone my current smartphone, kind of. So I had this smartphone, bought it in January of 2019. Bought one with my ex at the same time. You know, quite often we got the same phone at the same time so that I could actually show her how to use it. That's, that sounds a shame, but that's just the truth. I've had to do that with the other phones. So it just decided about three weeks ago, it was going to start having issues. So I would plug it into the chargers and sometimes it just said, what's that? I, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna charge off of it. And then I had to go through a whole bunch of cords or a whole bunch of the plug things that you put the cord into until I found one that would charge it. And then it would start the mess about, well, I don't think I'm gonna do fast charging. I'm just gonna say charging. Or it's gonna say slow charging. Or it's not gonna say anything. You're gonna see the lightning bolt, but it ain't doing nothing. That was irksome. I said, what is this? I thought maybe it was the cords because I buy a lot of the cords off of eBay because I like really long cords and red cords. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have red cords as well. Uh, look, I'm wearing a red shirt. My wall is red back over here. So red, that's my, look, red. <laughs> it's just my thing. So that started happening. Then I had some files on the computer I wanted to transfer over to the phone because I listen to a lot of recorded books when I drive. It, suddenly it couldn't find it. The computer just wasn't having it. So I went to the laptop. The laptop wasn't having it. So I said, okay, it's not the computer. It's not the laptop. It's the phone. The phone is messed up somehow. I thought maybe it was the port that you plug the charger in. So I go to the mall and I pay a guy $50 to replace that. Now I got a new port. Everything should be fine. Came home, nada. Stuff still wasn't working. I'm like, what the devil? So, you know, I had to think about it for a couple of days. On Friday, I decided to go to the casino for a couple of hours. I needed to decompress. It had been another mentally rough week. So I go to the casino and I don't expect to win. I only play poker. But I love hearing these guys talk and tell their stories because a lot of them know each other. And so it's just, it's always kind of uplifting. And they invite you into the game, you know, the conversation here and there. But it's just fun because I don't have a lot of that at home. I just don't. So I'm listening to these guys tell their story. 
I didn't win. As a matter of fact, I probably should have left an hour earlier than I did when I was actually up $85. And I'm diabetic and I hadn't eaten and I started to go dizzy and <laughs> just things just went bad from there. I should have left while I was still ahead, but I didn't. Lost my money. That's okay because I'm not playing with money I can't afford to lose. And now I'm driving home and I want to check my messages on the home phone. So I'm calling and I'm not hearing a thing. Nothing is working. But every time I hung up, I heard the hang up. It's like, that's weird. So I tried to call a friend of mine. Nothing. And supposedly he tried to call me back. Nothing. So I started to realize my phone is actually dying. I can, now I can't make phone calls. But you can't have a smartphone if you can't make you know phone calls. And I had started thinking about other things that had been happening where uh, people were saying that they were sending me messages and I wasn't getting them and I'd always gotten messages. And I'm trying to send people messages and I'm doing a follow-up and they're saying they didn't get it. So I get home and I call the Verizon place because I have Verizon. And we have a whole bunch of Verizon stores. And I'm calling to find out if they still have what I have, which is the Galaxy S9. I knew it was fool's you know, folly to even try. Of course, none of them had it. So I said, how much is the new phone? I said, well, $999. Uh, we have a deal now. You can get it for $899. I'm thinking, that's not a deal. <laughs> I didn't want to pay that much. I'm one of those people who, when I'm paying my bill, I actually overpay my bill. So right now, they owe me, I think, $110. And I just like that. So if anything happens or, you know, I forget to pay a bill, please don't let me forget to pay any bills because then I'll freak. But if that happened, you know, it's going to carry over for a month. So I decided, you know what? I've got to have a phone. This is a Friday. I go on eBay to see what their phones are there. And they had some S9s. And the S9 was coming in anywhere between $250 and $350. Well, I could have done that, but none of them offered overnight shipping because I would have paid extra for that. None of them offered that. And I decided, you know, I don't want to go that route either. We have a guy up the street where, well, they sell cell phones of all brands. They're brand new. They have a couple of refurbs, but they, you know, they're brand new, but they may not be like the current phone. For instance, they don't have the Samsung S21 because that's totally brand new, but they had 10s, they had 8s, they had, you know, all that kind of thing. So I go up there and it turns out he didn't have the Samsung S9, which is the one I wanted. He had the S10. I said, okay, how much is the S10? He says it's $450. I said, man, I'm just not in the mood to pay, you know, $450 for a phone now. Just as an explanation, I've gotten into a habit now where a lot of things I am not buying brand new. It may be new to me, but not brand new. My last car, before the one I have now, it was a year old. It was a Kia Amante that when it was brand new, it was $35,000. And then the guy brought it back, brought it back really quick. I mean, it had less than 5,000 miles when I got it. And it only cost me 20,000. And the car was souped. It had all kind of fancy stuff, 2005 fancy stuff. So a few years later, from here, a few years from now, or I don't know how you say that. In 2017, <laughs> actually it may have been 2018. 2018, I bought another used car. I bought a Kia Cadenza, souped. It's got so many fancy things that three years later, I'm still finding things out. My friend Kelvin said, that may be too much car for you. And I said, I don't care, it does things. I love the car. It's not red, it's a white car. I've never wanted a white car, but you know, you deal with it. I did it for the luxury, I'm not gonna lie. So I've gotten used to buying older things. This was the phone that I ended up with. Well, okay, stuff, hush. <laughs> a Samsung Galaxy 8. Not an 8 Plus, a Galaxy 8. I had a 9, had an 8. 
And I asked the guy, okay, what are the differences between these phones? He says, actually, they're pretty much the same. There's a few changes here and there, but overall, it's the same phone. I said, so I can put my SIM card in it, yes. And I can put my SD, my micro SD, yes. He says, it's even got 64 gigs of internal storage. How much is this? 250. You know what? Let's do that. Because I did not want to go, you know, anywhere from four days to a week without a phone. I needed my cell phone. So I buy this thing and I get it home and I use the thing that they call smart switch to transfer everything from the old phone to the new phone. And now I've got to reset everything up. You know, I've got to go back in, add all the username and passwords to all the things that I actually use. Uh, you know, I had to update a few other things. But I got the phone. It costs less money. I mean, yes, I could have got the S9. But I started thinking, you know, if I had gone ahead and paid for the shipping, if they'd had, you know, overnight shipping or whatever, okay, that would have probably jacked me up to 325 I still got this for around 280 And, you know, that was obviously including tax. I'm not upset with it. Not upset with that at all. Now, the one last thing I want to mention about my other phone is that I had fully charged it up because I knew that I was going to be transferring stuff. And the next morning, I come in and I've got the phone laying here, the old phone, and it was down to 19%. And it was off. I changed it at the right time. I had to go a long time without that phone. And it's not just the phone. I mean, all my alarms are on there. So I wouldn't have had access to my calendar because I don't have calendar on my on my tablet. You know, all these different things. And I, you know, I don't remember everything. I had all my alarms in the phone. So let's see, how long had I had that new phone? Two years and four months. And when I did the first video talking about, you know, cell phones being a scam or smartphones being a scam, some people came in and said, well, what do you think? You know, things are supposed to last forever. To which I said, I have a washing machine that I've had 15 years. <laughs> I've never had to worry about that. I bought a new refrigerator, but I didn't buy it because the other one broke. It was just old. It wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. And so I bought a new phone. I'm not expecting, you know, not a new phone, a new refrigerator. I don't buy everything expecting that I'm going to have to do it again in two years. That's just not right. And of course, right now I'm having this issue with my sneakers, but I'm not going to go into it because y'all don't care about that. So I got a nice phone. It'd be nice if I could have had the more expensive phone and not pay the more expensive money. <laughs> but y'all, come on. We all know this has to be a scam. I had lunch yesterday with my friend Scott and we were talking about his phone and he's got an iPhone. He says, yeah, I've had to replace mine a couple of times, but I refuse to buy the new one. So I always keep going for the lower phone also. So it's not just Samsung. So how do y'all handle things like this? You know what's going on. If anyone is going to say, hey, that's never happened to my phone. You probably don't use it a lot. And I say that because I've talked to a couple of people over the last couple of days who said that, you know, they have two phones and they have the one phone where they don't put any apps on it and they just, you know, use it to send messages back and forth. And they've had those phones for four or five years and they're fine. So I guess if you're not really doing anything with it, you'll get a phone that will last longer. But if you're doing anything with it and, you know, I don't consider myself a power user, but I guess to some people I am. Your phone ain't gonna last all that long. Oh, by the way, it turned out that the circuit card in my other phone had just died out. And this guy said, you know, for the cost it would be to fix it, you could get a new phone. Something to consider. Anyway, that's another rant or a story about smartphones. Maybe two years from now, I'll be doing another one. I hope not. <laughs> My name is Mitch Mitchell. If you like this, if you learned anything, or you just want to pick on me, you know, please leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. I won't be mad. Y'all take care.